bro. Mario and Bowser, y'all are not gonna be high fiving after this video. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video over 500 likes, boy. All right. Nintendo has revealed the Nintendo Switch. It's a dope system. I might end up picking up one. Now, there's a debate whether or not if you have a current Switch, whether or not this one is needed. But you got to admit, the system looks dope. Just like your Switch. But it's smaller. It's lighter. That's why it's called the Switch Lite. But I'm going to continue to call it the Lite Switch. Now, it's very similar to this Switch. It's being rumored uh, Digital Foundry did report on a new processor within that system, which makes it more efficient and potentially more powerful than our current Switch. But for the most part, the games will look the same and run the same if you can play the game on that system and that's we're gonna what we're gonna talk about in this video you see the most important attribute of the switch is it can switch you can put it in your TV and boop, pop it out and play as a handheld device that's why it's called the switch Nintendo the switch but Nintendo and all their wisdom has taken the Switch out of the Switch. Hmm. When have they done something like this before? <clears throat> I don't know. But all of a sudden, I feel like playing my 3DS without the 3D. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why. But the reason for this video is there are games that will not be compatible with the Switch Lite. Why? There are some games that are built not to run primarily in handheld mode. And so, for this video, we're going to look at five games that do not support handheld mode for the Switch Lite. And some of these games... You're going to be like, well, maybe I don't want the light. Because I really want to play this game. <coughs> How it was meant to be played. All right. Without further ado, this article is coming from imore.com. The first game is Mario Super Mario Party. A first party Nintendo game. According to the article, the fun mini games offered in this silly multiplayer use technology that you won't find in the Switch Lite. For instance, some of these mini games rely on HD rumble. That's right. <coughs> you got to feel the vibration is key for some of these games, while others require you to swing around a detachable Joy-Con. Huh? Can you do this on your light? Huh? Can you do this on your light? Now for the detachable Joy-Cons, you can get your own Joy-Con, but not for some of that HD Rumble stuff. Well, you, could, you gotta buy your own separate Joy-Cons. But it says, as we previously mentioned, the Switch Lite doesn't have HD Rumble and the Joy-Cons don't detach. You'll still be able to play this game on the smaller Switch, but you'll need to pair a set of Joy-Cons to it. Having a stand will also make it easier for every player to see what's happening on the screen as well. And the Switch Lite <coughs> doesn't even have a stand. So, for Super Mario Party, you're out of the box. You, it isn't compatible with the Switch Lite. You're going to have to buy separate Joy-Cons um, in order to play this game. And this is Mario Party right now on my Switch. I can't even do anything with the Joy-Cons connected. 
I have to have disconnected Joy-Cons. So Super Mario Party, a no-go out of the box on the Switch Lite. The next game, <clears throat> another first party Nintendo game. What's going on? This is 1-2 Switch. Now, I still say this to this day. 1-2 Switch should have been a pack-in title. This should have came with the Switch for free to just showcase the system. But I ended up paying $50 at launch for this game. I'm such a fat boy. All right. According to this article, in order to effectively play this two-player game, you'll need a detached Joy-Con for either person playing. Many of the mini games also rely on HD Rumble to succeed, so you'll need a controller that supports that technology. Once again, the Switch Lite doesn't have a kickstand, so you'll want it to stand. You'll want a stand that props your system up for both players to see. Pair an extra set of Joy Cons for your Switch Lite, and you'll be good to go. And I know, I already know what. Dudes are saying, no, get me wrong. I'm probably going to get a Switch Lite. But I know what dudes are saying. Ah, uh, I mean, when all you got to do is just buy some Joy-Cons. You know what that means? <laughs> You're going to be paying the same price for a Switch Lite. Joy-Cons cost $80, bro. And so you're going to really have to pay $280 if you want to play um, some of these games. That's only $20 difference from a Switch that can duck and so i'm just saying games that if you have just oh i got a switch light you're gonna have to it's, you, some of these games don't work on that system so um without additional um costs um that is one uh, hd rumble is needed for um one two switch as well as detachable joy cons so one two switch is a no-go bro the next game Labo! Labo games work by placing detachable Joy-Cons into cardboard, Toy-Con accessories, and moving them around. Since the Switch Lite's Joy-Cons aren't removable, <coughs> this won't be doable. Oh, they just dropped some bars. They're not removable. It won't be doable. Hey, spinning the mannequin, napkins, fapkins, bapkins, and the tapkins. Um, this is the same across the board whether you're referring to original labo or labo vr the latter also requires you to strap the screen to a headset considering that the labo headset is designed for the larger switch the switch light won't fit securely and will likely fall out if you attempt <laughs> to use it this way it's not worth the risk of damaging the device and so not only will the Switch Lite be too small for the Labo headset, pretty much all the to the Labo games require separate Joy-Cons. Is Nintendo really pulling a PlayStation Vita on us? The PlayStation Vita, I remember it. I, I don't I don't remember the price, but the price seemed very appealing. Oh, this is a good price. My camera, something's. Wait, hold on. There we go. The price for the PlayStation Vita seems so appealing. I was like, this is a good price. Until you realize, oh, I need to buy a uh, memory card that only Sony is selling for the system. I need to buy, um, there was a couple of other things that you needed to buy. And by the time you added everything up that you needed, um, it wasn't a Vita, it was the first PlayStation, um, um, the first portable, PlayStation Portable. You ended up spending an arm and a leg. And so with the light, there's going to be some asterisks. <laughs> and Labo is another game that is not compatible to the Switch Lite out of the box. The next game. This one's pretty big, bro. My kids love this game. I mean, every day they're playing Just Dance. Ubisoft Just Dance games are all about holding a Joy-Cons in your hand and moving around to different positions. As such, it's completely unusable on the Switch Lite unless you pair an extra set of Joy-Cons to your system. At this point, you also need to purchase a stand since the Switch Lite can't be propped up on its own. Again, 
Um, you need a joint convoy, a joint convoy. You, 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 you need a joint convoy. You need a joy cons. <laughs> it's not gonna work. And another game. And I know this is an absolute no buy for a lot. Of, a lot of dudes are like, okay, I'm not getting a switch light anymore. It's not compatible with fitness boxing. Forget that. All right. Once again, fitness boxing requires you. Requires is not optional. Requires you to hold joy cons. It's a no go for the switch. Now, there were other games that um, still can be used with the Switch Lite, but it will be less convenient. And they listed a couple games I was surprised at. Super Mario Odyssey, Legend of Zelda Breath of... Now, these are games that will still work, of course, in handheld mode, but aren't as convenient. Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Pokemon, Let's Go, Eevee, and the World Ends with You. And the only thing I could think about is HD Rumble. There may be some parts of those games where the HD Rumble is needed to sense some things or it helps you, it helps to enhance the game. So, the, the five games that I actually listed are completely not compatible with the Switch Lite unless you buy additional hardware joy con boys that's why we joy con boys all right so dudes what do you guys think about on um, the games that aren't compatible with the switch light are you going to still be getting this light sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out bye Stand corrected. They're still high-fiving each other. Even after Nintendo betrayed them and we can't play their game on the line. Oh.